over the years I've done a lot of different projects, but this one uh, is probably the one that we have the most fun with. When we bought this, uh, I bought it on eBay in Salt Lake City for 600 bucks, and uh, what you see is not what I bought. It was just a total shell, didn't have an engine, did have a transmission, and the two front seats came with it, and it was originally metallic blue. So this is a 66 CJ5. Originally came with the uh, Dauntless 225 V6, which was not in the car. Someone had uh, matched it up with a 2.3 liter Pinto engine, and I didn't want to have a four-cylinder. So uh, being a Ford man, I wasn't going to put a Chevrolet engine back in it. So I found this 2.8 Ford V6 motor that we adapted to the T90 transmission. Some of the upgrades we did was uh, we also put in 1978 Ford brakes with the, the, the booster and a Saginaw steering column down here to uh, upgrade the steering on these old Jeeps. But this just Jeep has plenty of horsepower with the 2.8 V6. Gets good gas mileage. I get about 20 miles a gallon. And this Jeep, I did this Jeep uh, about 11 years ago. It still looks really good. The color is 1978 Ford Tangerine. And then we bought a rear matching seat to match it. We found a 1947 International truck that had that heater box. Uh, the only upgrade I had to do, of course, is take it apart, clean it, and paint it, but I also had to put a 12-volt fan in it because the original fan was a 6-volt. It would not work with this system. Fabricated all of the bumpers out of 2-inch two 2-inch two uh, steel pipe and the side runner bars out of 2.5-inch uh, and, inch and fabricated the roll bar out of 2.5-inch steel pipe. And uh, it's just a great Jeep to tool around town and everywhere you go we get compliments on how it looks and uh, it's just a lot of fun.